Recently, somebody asked a question in the comments section of my video on how you find your missing folders and photos in Lightroom. And here's what they asked. How do I reconnect photos previously imported to an external drive when the external drive name has been changed and original name is not known? On today's edition of Sweet Nothings, I'm going to show you exactly how to fix this problem. Let's get right to it. If you have any questions about Lightroom, make sure to leave it in the comments down below. If I haven't done a video on it already, it might end up being my next episode. Make sure to like and subscribe too, that way you're not going to miss any of the upcoming ones. In addition to Lightroom, I currently every Wednesday have a series about how to create a professional looking time lapse debuting. Now back to the matter at hand, I'm going to start from the very beginning and I'm going to quit Lightroom. Now you can come over and you can see that I have my four drives here, my cheapest chicken drive, my pocket block, my genius drive, and my G unit. This is my little pocket block, this little tiny thing, and we're going to end up changing the name of this by going over the drive icon. I'm going to right click, which on a touchpad is the two finger click. That's going to open up a menu where I can say rename. Now currently it's called the pocket block. I'm going to go in and let's call this Let's call it the itty bitty slab. So it now has a new name. Lightroom though still remembers pocket block for the name. That's what its catalog, its brain has in its memory. So when I open Lightroom again, now you can see it still says pocket block, but the pocket block icon is grayed out almost like the drive isn't plugged in. Now my newly renamed itty bitty slab is certainly plugged in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up that drive and then I'm going to see there's the two folders it used to contain or still does, but Lightroom doesn't know where they are. And you can see 12.5 and 12.6. Now, before we get into that, let's take a look inside the actual itty bitty slab. Here we can find the 12.5 and 12.6 folders that we're trying to locate in Lightroom. Now these though are inside of another folder. It's called a parent folder. Since I'm looking at the tiles, the actual icons here. I'm going to go up and tell it to look in these columns. Here you can see that the 12.5 and 12.6 folders that we're looking for are actually inside a 2019 folder. So in this case, I'm going to tell Lightroom the parent folder is actually what I want to find instead of trying to search individually for the two 12.5 and 12.6 folders. So let me show you how to make that parent folder visible in Lightroom first. If I right click, I can say, show me the parent folder first. I can do this to either of those two folders since they're both inside 2019. Here you see the parent folder, 2019. And then there's those two that we saw earlier. Now just kind of showing you the different levels that the folders live on that hard drive. So if I go and try to find this parent folder, I can do this in one fell swoop now. Now, if I right click on there or do the two finger click, I can then say find missing folder. And then I can go to my newly named itty bitty slab. Here's that 2019 parent folder. That's the one I'm trying to find. And when I say choose, now you're going to notice it is called the itty bitty slab. Pocket block has disappeared from those options because it now knows it's been renamed. And if you look in there, here you'll see all of my folders and files with everything that I'd done previously in Lightroom keywords, edits, star ratings, whatever that may be. That's it. It's really pretty simple, but it is something that commonly happens when you get a new hard drive or rename an existing hard drive. Making sure that Lightroom knows where everything is, is key. Since this program's mainly organization, letting it be that dominant force for you organizing your photos is going to make sure that finding things down the road in another decade is still just as easy as it is finding it next week. From the Lightroom Whisperer, Take it easy and keep on light rooming.